Okay, we're going to give this fa this greatest common factor another shot, okay? So, I've got this expression, negative 25, negative 5x squared plus 25x, okay? So, I have a negative in front and we have x on everything, so negative and then we're going to put x, okay? Now, what I do is I underline the two numbers and this is my smallest one, so I need to make what's called a factor list and I'm going to use 5 factor list factors of 5 I start dividing 5 by 1 is 5 so I've got 1 5 after 1 comes 2 so 5 divided by 2 is a decimal 5 divided by 3 is a decimal 5 divided by 4 is a decimal and then I've already got 5 so as soon as it's time to divide by a number I already have I can stop okay as soon as it is time to divide by a number I already have I can stop okay now here's what I do then on this list I go from biggest to smallest I turn my biggest number I'm gonna put that here Okay, and I just want to see if those divide. Okay, so 5 divided by 5 is 1, 25 divided by 5 is 5, so I didn't get a decimal, so that works. Okay, next problem 2x is second plus 16x. So we don't have a negative this time, we have x on everything. Now I've got 2 and 17. Here's my smaller number okay so factors of two this is my factor list it's easier to make a factor list with the smallest number so two divided by one is two okay so one two one two and then I would do two but I've already got that again as soon as it's time to divide by a number I already have I can stop okay so let's try 2. Let's try to put that there, and I can't get a decimal. No decimal. Okay. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Okay. So that works. 2. Okay. Negative 6x to the second power plus 9x. So I have a negative. I have x connected to both. So 6 and 9. Okay. We want to make a factor list with the 6 because that's smaller. So 6 divided by 1 6, so 1 6. 6 divided by 2 3, so 2 3. And then after 2 comes 3, once again. As soon as it's time to divide by a number that I already have, I can stop. So I already have 3. It's done. Now let's try this. No decimal. So I put 6 under here, and then I divide. Okay. 6 divided by 6 is 1, but 9 divided by 6 is 1.5. 1 1.5 is not going to work. Okay. So I cross this out, and now I'm going to try my next biggest number. I'm going to try 3. Okay. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 works, negative 3x. Okay, next. I don't have a negative. you got x on both, so we got 15. Because that's your smallest one. So, 15 divided by 1 is 15, so 1 15. 15 divided by 2 is a decimal, so don't put it. 15 divided by 3 is 5, so 3 5. 15 divided by 4 is a decimal. And I already got 5. Okay, so, as soon as it's time to divide by a number I already have, I can stop. Okay, 
So let's try 15. No decimals. 15 divided by 15 is 1. 20 divided by 15 is a decimal. So 15 will not work. Okay. Now we try our next biggest number. It would be the 5. Okay. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Okay. So 5 works. Next problem. You okay, Daniel? Yeah. Don't have a negative. We got X on both. 4 would be smaller, so 4 divided by 1 is 4. When you divide a number by 1, you just get the same number, so 1, 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Okay. Okay, again, 4 divided by 2 is 2, so 2, 2. Now, another thing. If I have twin factors, I can stop. So twin factors. Okay. Again, look at that. If I have twin factors, I can stop. So let's look at the 4. So let's put that under there and try to divide. We can't get a decimal, though. Okay, that's 1. That's 2. Okay, so 4 works. Okay, GCF, I have a negative, and I've got X on both. Now let's pick 6, okay? You always pick your smallest one. So 6 divided by 1, 6. So 1, 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So 2, 3. Okay, again, after 2 comes 3, so as soon as it's time to divide by a number I already have, I can stop. Okay, that's... Okay, so... 30 divided by 6 is 5. 6 divided by 6 is 1. That works. GCF, we have a negative in the front. We got X on both. So now let's, we got 7 and 4. So let's try 4. 4 divided by 1 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2, so 2, 2. Okay, and again, if I have twin factors, I can stop. So either you get to a number you've already have on your list, or you get twin factors. So, 4, 4. 7 divided by 4, fail. Okay, 7 divided by 4. Okay, again. 7 divided by 4, decimal. Okay, so. Now let's try 2. Okay. 7 divided by 2, decimal, okay? Now 1, okay? 1. 7 divided by 1, 4 divided by 1, there you go, 1, okay? So 1. Okay, last one, GCF. We have a negative in front. We have X on both. Now let's pick the smaller one, 16, and create a factor list. 16 divided by 1 is 16, so 1, 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8, so 2, 8. 16 divided by 3 is a decimal, okay? Decimals aren't allowed when you're doing greatest common factor. Now let's try 4s. So 4, 4. Again, as soon as I have twin factors, I can stop. Okay, so 16, 16. 16 divided by 16 is 1, 
20 divided by 16 decimal. Okay, so we can't use 16. Now let's go to 8. Okay. 16 divided by 8 decimal. Or no, that's 2. 20 divided by 8 doesn't work. Okay. Now let's go to 4. Sixteen divided by four works. Twenty divided by four works. So four it is. Okay.